hello. So good afternoon. If you are in the Middle East, so good afternoon po. I know some of you are working in Sunday, but don't worry, I'll give the uh, replay. Okay, so I'm recording it now. Uh, for those that are watching in Facebook or YouTube, please comment CPA Dreams. Paki-comment na lang po ng CPA Dreams. Okay, and uh, I really want to greet all the fathers out there. Okay, happy, happy Father's Day. I know uh, marami po tayong mga father no? na nag-celebrate right now. So sana po talaga, okay, ako talaga, I'm really looking at sana yung mga fathers, they are responsible enough to be an example to their kids no or to their children kasi i believe na this world will be a better place if the fathers take full responsibility ng pamilya nila sabi nga nila father are the uh, haligi ng tahanan di ba so kumbaga ikaw yung wall okay so you are the one as well who's uh, putting putting your family together Okay, so for me, okay, ako medyo uh, nag start pa lang naman ako. So for the last years, I've been father. So uh, I think uh, it's really encouraging na makita yung family ko together and they are enjoying no, yung times with each other. So maraming salamat. Again, happy Father's Day. Kung hindi mo pa nababati yung father mo, please do it now. Okay, so that's very, very important. Okay, na makasama yung uh, tatay natin during this period. Okay, so ang agenda natin, okay, kasi isa sa mga pinakamahirap na topics, I think, na nahihirapan ng mga students aside from bonds is yung stockholders' equity. Okay, so kung nahihirapan ka sa stockholders' equity, so then uh, I will try to uh, really discuss it. Actually, I I I, I wrote uh, notes with my flashcards, okay? So I just get the concepts. So I wrote the concepts that I want to share with you. But then again, I created as well a PowerPoint. We'll go through with the PowerPoint no, para makuha yung summary and then we'll answer multiple choice questions, okay? So once again, if you have any friends or colleagues or family na they want to learn, okay? So it's been a consistent for me to really share every every weekend, okay? So especially those that are uh, part of the Cipalitas Banks and Handouts and CPA Dreams no, na nasa loob ng CPA Dream site. So ako talaga, I'm really thankful na makasama kayo. Okay? So it's kind of like uh, my passion. I'm turning it into my passion. Okay? To teach. Okay? So our topic is, again, uh, our topic is stockholders' equity. Or, mag-umpisa na ako ha. Okay? She. Kasi sobrang daming nakapaloob sa stockholders' equity. Okay? So let's define it. Ano bang stockholders' equity? Okay. To be honest, di ba nag-uumpisa tayo? Actually, kung mapapansin mo sa curriculum, yung mga first topic is sa basic accounting, may sole proprietorship. Di ba? After ng sole proprietorship, ang mangyayari dyan, partnership. Okay? Habang nag expand ang company, okay, nung una, ikaw... Pagpalagay natin, sample natin is si Aling Nena, merong tindahan. Sole proprietorship pa lang. Then, lumalaki yung tindahan ni Aling Nena. Gusto niya mag-branch out. So, naghanap siya ng partners. Now, nagkaroon na siya ng dalawang uh, branch no? ng, ng sari-sari store. And then, nag-expand na siya. Naging corporation na siya. Okay? Of course, sa corporation, meron tayong private corporation or publicly listed corporation. Okay? Kasi pagka corporation na yan, dyan na talaga papasok yung tatawagin nating stockholders or shareholders. Ibig sabihin, merong maghahawak na ownership ng corporation, which is yun yung stock or yun yung shares na tinatawag. Okay? Bawat stockholders, sila ngayon ay they have a share or a small amount. Okay? Like for example, ah, uh, 
1,000 shares yung outstanding ng company pagtapos bumili ka ng 100 shares at 5, 5 pesos. So, ibig sabihin, meron kang around 500 na uh, pagmamayari sa kumpanya. Now, what are the benefits of being a stockholders? Okay, of course, meron yan uh, benefits. Hindi pwedeng mag invest yung isang stockholders or investors. Then after that, wala na. Okay? So, ibig sabihin, they are always looking for a return. And that, recur that return could be, what it could be? That could be dividends, no? Dividends from the earnings. Aside from dividends, of course, no? Kung yan ay publicly listed, the price of the shares could go up. So, that means uh, appreciation, price appreciation, okay? I'm taking it into the highest level, okay? Kasi I myself, I'm investing in the stock market and Philippine Stock Exchange. If you go to Philippine Stock Exchange, no, makikita mo dyan lahat ng publicly listed companies like Jollibee Food Corporation with the stock code JFC, uh, Mega World, okay, Meg. Okay, so actually, ang stocks, they can be used for investing as well for long term. Okay, pag nag-iisip ka na in the future I want to retire, so then you might want to have a shares of companies, okay, publicly listed companies in the Philippines. And you can find them in the PSE or Philippine Stock Exchange, okay? Now, but on the point of view, of course, kung ito ay student, merong pagka-theoretical, okay? Binibigay din naman yan sa school, okay, or sa university what will be our definition of stockholders' equity. So, balikan natin yung accounting equation. Okay? Di ba meron tayong assets equals liabilities plus equity. Okay? So, eto yun. Eto pala yun, yung part ng equity. Kailangan eto master na master mo. Huwag ka magkakamali dyan. From the very beginning pa lang, yun na yung tinuro sa atin. Very basic. So, yun yung foundation. Now, yung equity, papano natin yan makukuha kung pagbabalik-balik ka rin natin yan. Of course, pwede rin niya. Assets. Okay. Pagbabalik-balik ka rin man natin yan, ang mangyayari is assets minus liabilities. Okay. Kaya makikita mo, ano yung definition? I'm looking at the definition. Sabi dito is residual interest. Okay. Yan yung tatandaan mo pag dinipahin ang stockholder equity. Residual interest of owners. Okay, ibig sabihin of owners net assets of a corporation. So ibig sabihin pala, yung assets mo, binawasan mo yung liabilities, eto pala yung equity. Of course, under this equity, marami yan. Okay, maraming nang nakapaloob sa equity, which is, yun yung discussion natin ngayon. Okay, now, merong different components ang stockholders' equity. Ano yung different components na yan? Apat yan na different components. Ano yung mga yan? No. Nandiyan diyan ang contributed capital. Okay, four components tayo. Contributed capital. Malamang ito yung mapapansin mo na tinatanong sa multiple choice questions. So we'll do some sample uh, calculations. Okay, contributed capital or contributed paid in capital. Diyan din papasok yung tinatawag na treasury shares. Okay, of course we will have a discussion about treasury shares. Okay? Diyan din papasok ang retained earnings. Okay? Siguro magkaroon tayo ng separate discussions for other components like the retained earnings and then the OCI, the famous OCI. Okay? Other comprehensive income. Okay? To be honest with you, hindi nawawala sa sipale examination ang stockholders' equity. Kailangan master mo to. Why? You are hitting two birds in one stone. Kasi nasa financial accounting and reporting yan. And then, papasok yan sa auditing. Okay? Which is comprehensive problem ang ibibigay. Again, kasamang OCI, other comprehensive income. We'll have that discussion as well in the future. Okay? In the near future, we'll do that as well. Okay? So, yan yung components. Again, napansin mo, equity, from the word is well, from, from the acronym it, itself, pwede natin sabihin, residual interest of owners, meaning the excess, okay, the excess of assets 
my over liabilities or assets minus liabilities. So, yan yung ating main definition. Okay? Now, doon tayo sa ang ating focus ito, er, contributed capital. Let's check. No, I'm giving you the concepts.
Thank you so much for watching and listening to this video lesson. If you haven't done so, please click the subscribe button below.